Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series or mini series on Dungeon Reels Tactics, a roguelike dungeon crawling party based turn based tactics RPG with slot machine based combat. Hear me out. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I actually I really enjoyed this when I played this for the let's try and thus I had to check it out again in a, a more full form for a, a series here. But alas, we'll get in here, I'll try and explain this video and uh, explain the basics and mechanics in a way that you don't need to have watched my prior Let's Try video, so you don't need to go and find it or anything right now. We're jumping in on a fresh run right here. So, at the start of your run, you get to pick two characters, from uh, each from a draft of three. We're going to probably not take too much time on this right now. We're going to, I'm going to pick, I'm just going to pick this one because it's different from the uh, the Let's Try video. And then we'll probably do the same here. Okay, we got a couple options. Uh, but I don't want to spend too much time overloading with information before we get into the game and explain the basics. Uh, but So what do we got here, though? Let me just briefly pause and I'll pick one. I'll explain what they are. All right, I'm going to pick this uh, this character here, the Void Speaker, because I think they're going to do a good job of showcasing the, uh, the slot machine mechanics a little bit more. Uh, but alas, I, again, I will get to what these characters do in a little bit, because I, I still have to learn what they do, in fact. But basically, we're going to be going through to the end here, trying to kill one boss. When we do that, we will teleport back to the beginning, and we will actually reuse the same map, but we will have locked off the path that we took, and we have to get to the end and kill a second boss, third boss. So it's kind of like your typical three-act structure, a la like a Slay the Spire, but you have to be careful about which, which paths you take, because you won't be able to take them again. So it's kind of, it adds an extra layer to your, your drafting. Like, maybe you don't want to go to a shop on your first trip up to the boss, because you want to make sure you have enough money to really buy whatever you want there on the second pass through. Like, it adds a little bit of extra layers of strategy to that, but... Alas, in we're gonna go here, after a little narration moment. Two companions enter a tavern in Slotshire. Some weird creature from the woods stole my family jewels. I saw it run off to the great evil citadel. The dark prophecy says the great evil must be destroyed to allow the ascension of the mega evil. <laughs> so yeah, each if each character, and there's like, there's quite a few. I can't remember exactly how many. It, was, it felt like there was, I mean, almost like 15, 20 some characters currently uh, in the game. And the game's not even out yet. Coming out May 2nd. Uh, hey, look, a flyer. It's a quest to kill the great evil. But they all have their own unique lines, which is quite neat. Who's that? I don't know, but it comes with a map, and the reward is a lordship and a castle. All right, let's do it. Lead the way, fellow adventurer. All right. Combat. Here we go. So we're going to... Basically, everybody's going to drop into the combat. We're going to be relatively spaced out from the enemies. Uh, oh, it looks like they actually get to go first. Okay, I'll, I'll explain how everything works on the start of my turn here. Luckily, we do start combat with armor. Uh, which is nice to prevent annoying, cheesy situations. You saw right there, we just rolled our slot machine. So basically, every character comes with their own slot machine, which is more or less just a very fancy uh, die, you know? It's like a 10-sided die. However, that can change, that can modify over time uh, it, through ways that you will see more specifically with the other character. Um, so we roll that. We roll three options. That's the other thing that makes it different from a die. We are rolling three options from it. So you're not going to be stuck with one really bad roll. Like, on average, you're going to roll something you like. You know, it, there, there's an element for getting a, a jackpot if you roll three of the same. Like, there's a couple different uh, mechanics that lean into that slot machine approach. But basically, we have all of these attacks here. Uh, and you roll three of them. The three that we roll right now are add... Okay, add zero shields to the target. We got debuffed. Of course, we got debuffed immediately so that we don't actually have the ability to uh, to defend here. But we still get an ability that I'll explain. One of you have five. Okay, five counters of gem energy. We will trigger our jackpot ability. It's basically an ultimate. Uh, so there's, there's... Even though we're getting zero armor from it, we should basically play it anyways is what I'm saying. All right. So we have this much movement. We've also got these other abilities here. Deal five times two damage to the target. Five twice to the target, gain a gem energy. So we're going to get three gem energies. Five, again, gives us our ultimate uh, in a way that we don't have to worry about rolling three of a, three of a kind, which is not very likely. So that's kind of nice. 
Seven damage to two random targets. I kind of like the idea of... Um, Oh, two random targets in range, though. We could we could manipulate this. We could manipulate this. You have 16 health. I could... Uh, like, I could scooch over to the right one. Activate this, and theoretically... Yeah, it can only hit that guy. And then we could go in and kill him. Bonk, bonk. See? All right. Fair enough. We are probably going to get smacked anyways because a lot of enemies have uh, have more range than just melee. But alas, you can see the turn order up there. Pink guy all the way down here is going to go. He is probably going to get in range and attack my uh, my void speaker here. But here's our roll. Again, three of, this, th three of a kind gives us like a super ult, which is quite nice. All right. Let's go over briefly this character because he is, uh, like I was going to say, he kind of showcases a little bit of the interesting manipulating natures of the uh of the slot machine more specifically deal six damage to three random targets i assume again in range uh so it's about rng and manipulating rng which is something i do love deal six damage to three random targets gain two duds for two turns duds are added to your reel and they are effectively trash like you don't want to roll it however you also have this ability, Void Consume. Deal three damage to the target and deal three additional damage for every dud currently in your reel and then remove all of the duds. So there is a reason to have duds, you know? Like uh, maybe we can try and uh, manipulate it to get more. I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure yet. I haven't played with this character. Deal 16 damage to the target. Gain two duds for two turns. Eight shields, two duds, two turns. So again, yeah, this character, it's actually relatively straightforward. Just it has that dud dud mechanic to it and we don't have to add the duds to our wheel i also realize we don't have to technically cast six damage to three random targets in range it would be these the question is i, I feel like i should probably just make sure i kill one so you already went you haven't gone yet i could probably move if i moved up to what would it work? Would I lose our... Uh, maybe I would lose line of sight. I think I would. Ooh, this is actually tricky. I, I don't know if I can move in a way where I will properly kill the spearman. I may just have to hope. I may just have to void volley and hope. Because if I move up here, one, two, so that this guy's no longer in the radius, I'm going to lose my line of sight to this guy, I think. I could, I guess I could just, I could try. That's what I thought. Okay, so moving down, and moving down here, I imagine would not help us either. I guess we could see, if we can see here, no, we cannot. All right. Oh my God. I just, I cast my ability. Genius man. All right, well now we're definitely not gonna kill him. Now we're definitely not gonna kill him. Great. That's one thing I noticed. The, uh, the, it, it is very easy to accidentally cast your abilities. This game isn't out yet. I may just be stupid, and everybody will let me know that, uh, regardless of how, <laughs> how much it's because of me and how much it is because of the game. Uh, you can, you will learn to not accidentally cast your spells, but they are kind of in a, a very easy spot to, uh, to cast when you mean to move. So. All right, so what does this character have going for them? It's nine damage, yeah, gain the energy, five times two. So actually relatively straightforward abilities as well. I will tell you some of the other characters are a little bit more complex. All right, seven damage to random targets. Do we have our gem energy? We do. Trigger your jackpot ability. Our jackpot ability is deal five damage to seven random targets just on the entire field and then gain two strength. Strength increases our damage. So. If we have a multi-strike, which we do, we probably want to do that last. Okay, so let's, um, we'll go for this. Bang. We get one, uh, one jam energy. We will add shields to ourself and proc our special ability. We're just going to jump around the screen. It's, okay, it actually worked out kind of well in a weird way that we, uh, we beefed it. But now we have two extra temporary strength. 
You can see that right there, which is going to increase the damage of this. So this does damage to two random targets. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess around with that too much more. We have armor, so I wouldn't mind getting this character hit instead of that one. I'm assuming duds. No? Yep, duds. Oof. But the thing is, we added so many duds. If we would have gotten, like, we were risking it on purpose. If we would have gotten that crazy attack uh, that used them all up, it would have been entirely worth it. Okay, collect soul shards to gain recruit tickets. Expires in two rounds. So, right here, these are soul shards. If you're wondering, like, how do you get more, more characters? There's a couple ways. One, you can buy them at shops. The other way is you will get an additional pull from the, like, the gacha pun, almost, if you will. There's no, there's no, uh, microtransactions, but it's got that similar thing of, like, pulling them from a, a gacha, gacha pun machine. Um, I just realized this says two random targets. Do you, do you mean that this could attack my ally? How much movement do I have? Okay. Get it. All right, good. All right, so we have two out of six. When we get six, yeah, we will get the ability to uh, to pull another character. Yes, I'm fine with ending my turn. <laughs> There's nobody left. Treasure finder. At the end of combat, we get to do a little scratch ticket to see what we get. We just get we just get two coins, which may not sound like a lot, but uh, coins are... It's like... I don't know how to say. There's some games where it's like 100 coins is a lot. And is the baseline. But this is a game where one coin is an actual noticeable amount. You can probably... You buy stuff on average with, like, four. Uh, so, one coin is not bad at all. Alright, so we have one unspent upgrade point. You may notice there's lots of pluses on the screen. That is because, like I said, there is a lot of potential customization. We can upgrade any one of our single ability faces. We can upgrade our ultimate. Or we could upgrade, like... Uh, just a base stat so that all of our damage just does a little bit more uh let's see here if i did eight damage seven times i don't know i'm wondering if just maybe going for strength on this guy is not bad uh the upgrade of this lets it hit an entire extra time that does five extra damage is there anything that gives us two gem energy nope I don't know, man. Like, I could see a couple uh, a couple options being good here. But we have damage up on abilities by one. Shield value up by one on abilities. Increase the range value of an ability by one for each reach you have, which is actually massive uh, in, in some cases. And then increase the amount of units you can move a turn by one. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of different ways we can go about this. I, I, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to go for the gem of striking upgrade right now. Doesn't seem that particularly exciting. Going for an entire extra hit here could be really nice because we could be upgrading our strength. We could get, uh, I don't know. We could, I'm kind of leaning towards actually just base upgrading my strength because that helps this. That should help this. I don't know. I don't know if it actually does. Anywho, uh, we got the uh, the Void Knight as well. Void Speaker. Void Speaker. What do I go for for you? There's nothing that uh, we can upgrade that modifies our reels. Deal 20 damage to two random targets. Here's the thing. I bet you if we get three duds, if we roll three duds, does that trigger our jackpot the same way abilities would? Because that's actually not too bad of an idea. Let's see. Six damage, four random targets, add two duds. This upgrades the amount of damage per dud. I'm kind of looking for more ways to add even even more duds. I'm kind of curious. Let's go for void consume. Let's make the let's make the bang really big. Very worth the buck. Alas, what do we got here? So there's uh, a couple fate cards. These are kind of like curses that we can do. That you know gives us a negative thing that we maybe have to overcome, or just gives us a negative effect, and then we get a positive effect as well. So it's sort of like trade offs. Hello. Ow, ow. Okay. So now we get to go here. Eight damage to two random targets. 
theoretically, we kill both of you. Just by doing this without moving. See, that strength up really came in handy. That strength up made us have lethal. And then we can go over here and get... Uh, oh, we're out of movement. We're out of movement! Rip. And there's no undo yet. I would say that I, I would really, really like that. But again, that's just, you know, something you can just get used to by not being bad uh, is, is a good thing. Or aka playing the game a little bit more. But we missed out on, on uh, a bit of damage there. Rough. Rough, but what are you going to do? All right. Please don't roll the super attack right now. Okay, good. Okay, deal 16 damage to the target. Huge. Gain dud too. I mean, avoid blast on the rat just seems like a no-brainer. Six damage to three random targets is not... Uh, it's not going to do it. Because you have three shields. That being said... Oh, man, I really wish we could just do one damage. But I'll tell you what, it makes more sense to kill you and get you out of the way. And then we'll back up so you're more likely to take the damage because he has six shields right now. Thankfully, okay, that guy didn't even have an attack that he could do. Hell yeah! Alright. Eight damage to random targets. So we could do 16, 10. We're also going to get our jackpot. Aren't we? Yeah, on our next ability. So how much movement? We have two movements, so we can get this, and then we can proc this. Activating our super ability, which seems kind of nuts. Oh, we don't get the gem, though! He propped out another gem. Oh my god, double equipment. So, there are relics in the game. Every character can hold three relics, and they can... They can change the game quite dramatically for them. Gain two defense, but lose one strength. I don't know who to give that to. End of turn, add three shields. I'm going to give that to Mr. Void Speaker. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that for now, just because I don't, I don't want to throw it away. But hopefully we get another character that's maybe... Whoop! A little bit more exciting. I do not like this noise. I will make that clear. I don't like that noise. But maybe we'll get another character that it makes a little bit more sense on. Uh, 8 damage... To 11 random targets. I mean, that's pretty exciting. I'm just gonna go raw strength. It doesn't seem like it changes that, though. I don't think that... Yeah, I guess it's since it's not an ability. That being said, I do still think it's quite good. Seven times two there. Uh, we can gain even more strength. And then we'll want to probably upgrade these gem of power attacks so that they're going for, for triples. I have not gotten a void consume a single time yet. But maybe. Just maybe. I want to I invest in it because I think it would be fun. I'm not doing it because I think it will necessarily definitely be good. But I do think it'll be fun. All right, here we go. We got a couple choices here. Lose three gold and gain four soul shards. I can't remember. If, I don't know if that overflows. Also, I don't have that. So I can't choose it. Ah. Random character loses eight health. Eight max health? But target character gains a defense. Defense is not... the. It's, it's interesting, though, because we can't... It's, it, <laughs> we can't guarantee we'll get use out of the defense. And I can't... I don't know if this is max health or not. I feel like it is takes max health. Target character loses a speed but gains to reach. That could be fun. That could be really fun. To the target, to two random targets. Yeah, let's let's do that. We'll, we'll give it to you. You'll be a little bit more in a range because theoretically, I hope will hopefully be able to turn this character into more of a tank. Lose two gold, gain two soul shards. That would let us get another party member. Target character loses sixteen health. Random character gets two reach. That's really nice. 
Uh, target character loses two reach, but you immediately get another character that you get to pick. Mm. And then here's this, which is a thing we need to do on one of our loop throughs to fight like the real super big bad, the act four slay the spire boss, you know, the one that maybe is even too strong. Who, who knows? Like I haven't fought him yet. Uh, but let's go for, God, this is actually really tricky. These are, there's a lot of good options. There's a lot of really good options. Like if this is just a, an attack, like 16 damage, that could be crazy. This does put us over the edge to recruit a new character, though. And yes, it does not... Okay, it does not overflow. So I'm happy I didn't go for, like, the four. All right, the branded, the iron-plated, the priest. Okay, maybe we could take the iron-plated. It sound, sure sounds like a, uh, a tank. We'll see. 16 damage to the target. If you have shields, gain two strength. Uh, nine damage to three random targets, four damage to three random targets. Okay, so a couple of these are pre-upgraded because this is a level three. Uh, deal seven damage to targets in range. Gain, apl oh, wait, gain, apply, gain, oh, apply plated armor to yourself. On damage taken, add two shields, remove at the start of your turn. Interesting. Add four shields and gain Bulwark three on the target. Uh, at the start of your turn, add three shield, reduce value by one. Oh. This character seems like, I don't know, it seems really nice. I think he's the tank we wanted. I'll probably go for him. Uh, and then we'll explore deeper into the other characters later. Uh, I think that that's probably the, the way I want to go about it right now, but... Can we take... Wait... Oh, can we not remove equipment unless we have... Oh, I thought you could. That's probably fine. Because here's the thing. Plated shield, I guess I could put on the void speaker. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. We have any food left? Nah, you ate all the food, and we don't have any money left. You just showed up, you ate all our food. Why aren't these monsters dropping enough gold? I need to eat. If they don't start dropping more gold, we might need to get real jobs. Alright, but now we have three characters. Oh boy, but there's a lot of fools here. Okay, they have a they have a couple people who get to go before us. But now it is Iron Plated's turn. First roll, what you got for us? Okay, so this is deal seven damage to targets in range. To all targets in range, it seems like. Gain plated armor. Yeah, to all targets in range. Four damage to three random targets. Rat has... Okay. I would maybe like to just do it randomly, but I kind of think that killing the rat guaranteed is a better idea. So maybe we'll actually... We'll move down here. So this should guarantee they both die instead of a, a really nasty scenario where... Three of them are almost dead, and they are they all come to attack me. That's a much worse situation than having two of them dead for sure. And being slightly out of position, maybe. Alright, what do you got, mister? Ah! Okay, so... We're gonna add the duds. This is gonna do five damage three times. That's gonna do 15. And then we will add two duds so this will do five and then it's gonna do an extra eight it's gonna do 13. oh hell I'm trying to think about oh my god our range is ridiculous I, i'm not gonna be able to run out of range i'm not gonna be able to run out of range here okay so 
That, yep, that procs all of our duds too. And theoretically, you will live with one, which is very annoying. But again, like our range upgrade you saw right there actually did not help us very much. The fact that he has that reach actually kind of sucked. Okay, what do we got here? Very close. 9 damage to two random targets. We can move and make sure that guaranteed kills one. Oh, this is just such a bummer because there's going to be two that are so close to dead. 9 damage. We did not get to pick the range. So it went to hit. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Hmm. So I think if we do it like that, and then we go bop, bop, and then theoretically this should, yeah, give us a nice clean double trouble. I'll scoot on over here. Sounds good. Yeah, you're taking a, taking a little bit of damage. When a character dies, they are gone forever. So it is worth noting that that sucks. <laughs> but you, there are a lot of opportunities to get back. Okay, good. We at least blocked one there. A lot of opportunities to get back characters through the recruiting uh, this way or other means. Nine damage to three random targets. What's your range like? It's not great. And it's very much overkill. If you have shields, gain a strength. I kind of want to go bold. We're going to get a turn with you before... Or, uh, no, we're going to get a turn with the Chaos Knight. Who is where? He's over here. Okay. He's got massive range. I think we can make this work where we... Possibly. One, two, three. Yeah, we could totally do this. Get a double damage. Nine, nine. And then, sure. Fine. We probably could have done that in a slightly stronger way, but I'm not too worried. I think that with our ridiculous amount of range. Yes, yeah, so there's the duds. Not gonna really matter though. Bonk. If we do this, does it cons we can't consume our duds? So I guess we should technically want to kill with that. Okay, we have no movement left. So part of me wants to actually delay. Yeah, of course this I can't cast. On oh, nothing. I might just want to take the hit, especially if we can get armor of some kind here. Oh, screw you, mister. I'm willing to I'm willing to, to spend it for the extra gems. I'm willing to take the damage. That's three whole uh, whole gems. That's we're almost halfway to our next character, and I just wouldn't ugh, and I just wouldn't get it if I didn't take this hit there. I just literally would not have gotten it. Okay. And hopefully this reaches. I didn't think it would. But I'll tell you what, it's still worth it. Still worth it. We're gonna go with uh, with you. Hopefully we don't roll too bad. We kind of did. 15 damage to the target is not gonna be enough. I was worried thinking that we maybe should have done a little bit of damage with this guy, but again... The roll would have to be exceptionally bad. Which, surprisingly, I never feel like I've truly been screwed by RNG in this game yet. I played for, like, maybe two and a half, three, like, two and a half hours, or two hours total. And I don't feel like I've been screwed by RNG yet, which is weird in a slot machine-focused game. Look at all that coins. Okay. No level ups, no problem. 
Heal the party or max HP? Let's go wild. Okay, it does increase their temp HP as well. So I'm just a little worried about him dying. I am a little worried about him dying. Uh, what is this one? A stone circle, a challenging mini boss encounter that will unlock the encounter key if completed. That would be this thing over there. One of the five that we need for the true, true final boss. We got to do it at one point. Let's head to the event. Lose three gold. We don't. We can't. Uh... Random character loses 8 health, gain 2 soul shards. Maybe. Target character loses speed. In the next combat, you get 2 speed for 2 turns on everybody. Eh. Characters in the next encounter gain 2 duds. Gain 4 gold. That is very tempting because one of my characters likes that what could possibly go wrong here i was saying that i've never been screwed by rng now would be the time but hey if i get screwed by rng after that that's because like i brought it upon myself you know Ooh, we are dead center in there okay not too big a deal no duds no duds no duds oh we got a dud Okay, uh... This is spicy. I feel like I'm, it's more important for him to have it because he gets the extra when he gets hit. My jackpot meter is full. I can trigger my jackpot and automatically... Okay, so after a certain amount of time of not getting your jackpot, the game does force, like, allow you to just forcefully get a jackpot. Deal eight damage to three random targets. Add three shields for each target hit. That's what we would get. We would get three of these. Fine. Incoming wild noise, by the way. Oh, wait. No, it's wrong. Okay. Seven damage to all targets in range. Gain plated armor. You stinker. Well, the good news is we can do it like this. We'll get the kill there. We scoot over one tile. What an obscene amount of plated armor that is, though. Holy mother of God. Let's move you up there. So, on damage taken, add six shields. Remove at the, remove at the start of your turn. Pretty nuts. Okay, so we're going to get a super explosion blast. So we Because we already have two duds. Yeah, the range is kind of like not particularly great here. So somebody somebody's going to die. I'll have it be you. 35 damage. I should have spaced that out. Definitely should have spaced that out. How much armor do you have? Not very much. Let's move you. Ironically, I think you'll take less damage over here. We do get the three armor at the end of the turn because of our item. Boink. Take one actual damage. We got a little bit of slow, a little bit of bleed. That's crazy. Uh -oh. That's so... Oh my god. Do more. More, ding dong. Yes, please. That roll from the jackpot. Very funny. Okay, those duds are really doing something. Okay, this is going to be like a no-brainer.
Okay. Man, you suck. That that minus one movement speed is really rough. We should. The fact that there's no rewind means that we really have to be a lot more, a lot more specific about what we want done. Do we have shields? Boy, do we ever. Okay, and this should be 10 damage to three random targets, so we'll get a kill. Four shields and bulwark. Can only give it to myself, actually. I'm gonna get the gem, even if it means that they may target the gem seeker instead. So we have a couple duds anyways. Bonk. Okay, is this a kill? No, it's not a kill. Or it's not a tur turnover. Oh, you got one health left. You suck. You suck. So he's gonna he's gonna take a little bit of damage up there. We have three armor. Take three damage. And then possibly a bleed. Uh blast ya. Do I I no wait, I shouldn't have done it. I don't want a gem energy. Oh But what should I have left it anyways? Should I theoretically have left it then? Maybe. It's tricky. I wish you had one extra turn to uh, to pick that stuff up. On jackpot, gain two defense. I feel like I have to put that on the gem seeker. He just gets so many more jackpots. All right, like it just makes sense. Okay. All right. Now that we have all those strength ups, I do feel like the the gem of power upgrade here, so that does three attacks instead, adds like a lot of benefit. Like a lot. Never got void eruption yet. Bum, 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 bum. The range. I don't know. I could just get the strength back. I kind of want to get my strength back. That makes a big difference for Void Volley. And then what's the plan over here? Bulwark at 10 shields, Bulwark 3. Holy crap, 10 shields? 17 damage to all targets in range. Apply plated armor to... This is crazy. Upping his range would also be pretty good, but I feel like that... that I've created is nuts. Uh, hit me with a... One of these. Target character loses a defense. Gain four gold. We don't have a lot more gold that we can even hold. Random character loses 16 health. Target character re recovers 50% of max. I think that was a net gain. I think that was a net gain. I was hoping... I don't know. If, if you took the 16 and I would have healed there, I feel like I would have liked that a little bit better because that guy's going to be less likely to take health damage. He just puts so much shields on. What a stupid creature back there had my family jewels in its mouth. I'm glad I got it before the great evil did. I think you just spoke the great evil to me. We are, we're all glad you got your family jewels back. Gonna keep my family jewels real close this time. Not gonna lose them again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Octopus. Bard. Okay. The crocodile? Large croc. Oh my god. They get a lot of people that get to go before us. Again, that the fact that you start with the armor is so, so huge. Adds 10 shields to the target. Gain dud. Oh my god. If I move left and then up one, I could probably make it so I... Those all hit you? 
16. This is going to be 18, 16. It's, it's, it's going to be overkill. I only, uh, it's, it's fine. It's not worth, um, oh, wait. If I go here, I'm probably out of line of sight of you, aren't I? No, I'm probably not. Probably not. Oh, but now I'm in range of the, uh, you know what? If I'm in range of the croc, I'm in range of the croc. Maybe I... No, but if I move up one, I God, this, this massive range up is is nuts. Yeah, I was kind of just hoping. Whatever. I guess Croc dies. Croc must die soon. Who do we shield? I'm more worried about you. And we'll move it. Move it in. Get the three armor. Ooh, I do like that attack so much. Uh, oh, we can't quite kill the croc. Okay, good. I wanted to hit with one. So now we move to the left one. Get this to kill the croc. And then we move down there, probably, for maximum value. Because we're not going to kill anybody with this. Get it right. It's spooky, though. We're, we're, we're right in the middle. We don't have a whole lot of actual armor. We have the plated. Okay, you're, your thing is you're just buffing up. up. Anyways. Okay, you're buffing up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got one shield move, which I believe we can put on our ally. Yes, we can. Oh my god. I'd have to move in, too. I think I'm fine with that, though. It's relatively important. We can do 14. We can only target these jabronis. Oh my god. This ain't working great. This ain't working great. Oh, the shields are so tough to see, man! They're gray. They're gray on gray up there. Heck. You got me. You got me. He lives again. Oh, he just jumped over that son of a gun. Can anybody do that? Where is this? It's over here. Okay. So far, so fine, though. Like, a lot of stuff is happening, but... Wasn't that bad. Yeah, none of that was that bad. Okay. 10 shields, 16 damage to the target. And then an explosion. I don't know how many duds we have in a reel. Can we check? Six. Okay, so I have six duds. That's a lot. So somebody, somebody's going to explode. And it's almost like I should explode first. And then go for this after. Uh, what do we do for shielding? Who is... Can I get... Sure looks like I can get over there to shield you, but I don't know if line of sight is going to work. It does. That's crazy. All right. And now we're sitting in the middle. We're actually... This, this all worked out okay. Yeah. It didn't... Yeah, it didn't matter. The non-kill thing. Nine damage to three random targets. Okay, if I do this, somebody dies. One of them dies, and then one of them's almost dead. I'll take it. Okay, Bulwark... I'll give it to myself, I guess. 
And I think we move down. He doesn't have the, the range of the movement that the other characters do. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Get out of here. Seven times three, we can do okay. Can't quite. Let's just hit hit with the random first. We'll see what happens. Oh, we do our ult. Hey, 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 hey. It's super nice. Didn't get me a kill. Oh, we got the strength up too. And then hopefully we can get that. We should be able to get that gem. Jackpot meter. I'm going to save it. I am obviously going to save it. Even if we roll the duds, which is likely. I'm... I'm fine with not killing for a sec. Because I know that we're not really going to take... We're not going to take any damage. I hope I can save my jackpot for the next fight. Because that's why I was hoping. But yeah, we want to make sure that we can uh, get the gem from this guy after he dies if he drops one just in case just in case scoot oh yeah we can do that little jump thing jump up in the air whoop whoop come here mister come here mister scorpion I mean, it was a lot of damage. Oh, what the? Wait, where did you come from? Skeleton, I guess he is a skeleton, so he probably just came back from the dead. And there's no crystals? There's no crystals. We're done. All right. Just want to make sure we had uh, the ability to get them if they were there. Just some coins. Nine out of nine. Don't mind if I do. Because we are going to the shop. We are rich. Okay. Um, the relic key. Gain two strength, two defense, two reach, two speed. Can't be unequipped. That's the one for the final boss. The shop key. We can't get a bolt. That kind of sucks. I mean, I'll take the relic key. And So who do we want to buff the hell out of? Who do I want to buff the hell out of? I think the iron plated. Ba ba. So we can't get that. We could get another character. We're so close to getting another character, anyways. After moving six units, gain hustle. Two for two turns. Gives us extra movement points. That's good. It's really nice. Uh, reward ticket. I mean, we could just buy an extra character. It just feels like such a bummer because we're so close. The Protector, the Warrior, the Detonator. Deal 9 damage to the target, add 3 shields. Deal 6 damage to the target, damage scales with current shield value, plus 6. We have lots of, sh lots of shield boys if we go for that route. We could also just buy a recruit ticket. Straight up. Because maybe we can get like a, yeah, like a, pre, a priest or something. Oops, didn't get this last one. Or a gunslinger. Ooh. Electrified. And we have, what, what are, what's upgraded for you? You've upgraded your ult. Your hymn of power. Gain in power two for one turn to three random allies in range. Yeah, it is pretty exciting. Probably wouldn't have picked the ult upgrade. We can also the defense, but does that matter? You don't have... It says shield value. Does it also improve the heals? I'm actually... I'm just gonna... I, I'll do it. I'll just do it. Give me the priest. Give me the priest. Free my soul. 
and you don't give me a re reward ticket too. On jackpot, gain two speed. Yeah. You're the on jackpot, son of a gun, for obvious reasons. All right, all right, all right. Who do we want to fight? All right. The farmer. Well, theoretically, if we're going to keep up this run here, we'll want to go on the bottom, so we'll want to make sure. Well, we'll be fine. We can do one of these. Um, I don't know the difference between the two right now. Let's go fight the farmer. They seem more like a uh, somebody to fight right now. Let's fight the farmer. Seems like a first boss. I mean, the spider kind of does too. Party arrives at the Dark Crypt, the Great Evil's darkest power source. Great Evil traps the souls of his enemies in this place. Really? What does that mean? Like, we die for sure come here? We for sure come here? This place is a dump. I don't want to be dead here. Most... Wait, you're the necromancer? You look like a farmer. Your muscle say it grows on you over time, give or take a century. A lich! We must slay and destroy this dark crypt! It's a farmer lich. Or like the lich lich. In, uh... I mean, alright. There he is! Oh my god. Okay, let's see what it... Oh. 20 damage to two random targets. I'm going to save the jackpot for Gem Boy. All right, so first of all, let's see. What do you do? You summon two lost souls within three nodes. Deal 10 to 16 damage to every enemy in range and apply bleed six for one turn to each enemy hit. Nuts. Decrease defense by two for two turns. So more or less just get out of range of Plague Wave when that's time. But it's not time right now. Void Blast. I'll happily move back one to not target that guy. So we can go all in theoretically. 26 down. That's pretty good. As for armory, we don't really have much of any. So... I'll stay like right here. We don't need to, we don't need to be very close since the range is so high. Close. Six damage to three random targets. Six damage to three random targets. Do we have shields? I don't have shields! You dirty boy! Okay. Well, that sucks. Because we, uh, we got wave blasted immediately. That's right. How much you have? You have 30 on death. Apply armor break minus two to the killer. I don't know what armor break is. I would imagine it's just like an armor. You take more armor damage or you either can't have armor. I don't know. That being said, let's just start smacking and hope it goes to that target. It mostly did. But a pretty bad roll as far as defense goes. Not great there. That being said, I do think we'll put you up there. I hope, I and I really, really hope we roll something good. Uh, no. We'll save the jackpot. Deal 10 damage to targets within the target area. Pretty nice. Three health and apply rejuvenation three to the target. You know what? If you die, I'm not attached to you yet. So like, oh, it's in within. Okay, it was within. Uh, I thought it was within that area. I was like, oh hell yeah, baby. Okay, so heal and rejuvenate who? 
We are going to run the hell out of here. So I'm going to rejuvenate you. And I can't run the hell out of here. I used up my movement to get in on the aggro. It's okay. Again, if the priest dies, I'm not attached to him yet. That is a lot. Okay, we can finally see what armor break does. Oh, it just, it straight up just decreases defense. All right. Trigger. Trigger jackpot. Hey, I'm actually happy with this. All things considered, I'm relatively happy with just getting the defense up. Hey, hey. But now we got all kind. Look at the uh, the stat upgrades we got there. Quite nice. And that's yeah, that's through the armor break. Okay, so here we go. Um. I want to make sure he has some armor for his turn, and I'm afraid... Because it looks like the, yeah, the Necromancer goes again. I don't know if Plague Wave is something he can do yet, or what. I don't know, you have really low armor. I'll, 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 I'll do that and back the hell up. 10 damage! Oof! Gnarly. Dudden, two, uh, two random targets, or single targets there. Bone Charm, so we really need to make sure we get the hell away. He gained a lot of shields, he did a, a decent amount of damage. Just, yeah, it's just single target, smack him. Not very good, but what's the range? I don't know what the range is. I can back the hell up because I know that we'll be able to get where we need to get. So I don't need to make a fit. Do we want to attack this guy? Kind of, kind of not. Because we have the armor break now. But it's also not that big of a deal when I'm not actually missing out on armor right now. Or like, I, cause he's not applying it to himself, you know. Defense is not like a defense downgrade in the sense that he's going to take more damage. It's a defense down in the sense that, um, oh, the priest is dead as hell, man. We got really the the necromancer gets three son of a gun of a moves in a row. Holy mole! Maybe we could back up around this corner though. Okay. This, who knows, could work. Line of sight, please. Oh, he didn't even do that move. Oh, shoot. It was on cooldown. He didn't even do it. It's okay. It was, it's still worth playing around because I think we can get in. Do we get our, uh, we get our ultimate jackpot here? No matter, oh my God, we get a double jackpot. Holy mama. Okay. All right, we win. Right? Well, we won anyways, but like... Bop. Oh, man. I just want to prove that we... Had a lot of, like, you know... I just want to prove how, how much we won on that turn. How lucky that ult was. Silly, silly, silly. What do we get? We got the uh, gain two speed, lose a strength. It's fine by me. Whoop, whoop. Oh my god. What do we go for? Um, I will get the upgrade on the, the multi attack there. I think that'll be good for us. You. I don't know, man. You're weird. Let's go, just give you some strength. I don't know what to do with you. You're so strange. And that move is super good. And the priest doesn't have to be upgraded. But alas, the lich has been been expelled from the dark crypt. You can see small lights all around. You floating up and fading into nothing. Looks like the dark crypt won't be serving the great evil anymore. We should return to Slotshire and send a group to reconstruct the dark crypt. Maybe it could benefit this land. I swear, if it stays haunted, I'm never coming back here. All right, but alas, like I said, we got shot right back to the beginning. 
And tomorrow, the plan is going to be to go and take out yet another uh, yet another boss. Hopefully, we can make it as things will uh, will heat up surely. But alas, alas, that's that, and that's going to do it here for today for Dungeon Reels Tactics. I did have to relook up the name there. <laughs> Coming out on May second. Make sure you wish list it, and if you are excited about it, you want more uh, more of it, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I can be your conduit for checking out the game ahead of its release. But go wishlist it. Make sure to. My name is Retromation. Coming into games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes, especially the roguelike and the strange. If there's ever like a fun little uh, mechanical gimmick that tweaks up the formula, you better believe I am going to be there to check it out. So, with that being said, make sure you're subscribed. Get notified when these videos come out every day as long as the videos get supported via likes and comments and all that stuff. It, it really makes a really big difference, genuinely. So, alas, alas, thank you, thank you. Check out the channel, Rogues, more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!